In this video, we're going to do some more examples that involve radicals and exponents. We're going to start out with the binomial expression, the square root of 3 plus square root of 2 over 1 minus square root of 5. We're going to rationalize the denominator of this expression. And rationalize the denominator means to get rid of all radicals in the denominator. As outlined in the other video, we do this by multiplying this fraction by the conjugate of the denominator over itself. Since 1 minus the square root of 5 is the denominator, its conjugate is 1 plus the square root of 5. So we multiply by 1 plus square root of 5 over 1 plus square root of 5. By doing this, we're really multiplying by 1. Now what we have to do is multiply out all the products. In other words, what's known as FOIL in the top and bottom, first, outer, inner, last. And we do this, we get square root of 3 times 1 plus square root of 3 times square root of 5 plus square root of 2 times 1 plus square root of 2 times square root of 5 in the numerator. In the denominator, we get 1 times 1 plus 1 times square root of 5 minus square root of 5 times 1 and then minus square root of 5 times square root of 5. The square root of 3 times 1 turns into square root of 3. The square root of 3 times square root of 5 turns into the square root of 3 times 5, or square root of 15. The square root of 2 times 1 turns into just square root of 2. The square root of 2 times square root of 5 is the square root of 2 times 5, or square root of 10. In the denominator, we get 1 times 1 is 1, um, 1 times square root of 5 is square root of 5, square root of 5 times 1 is square root of 5, but we're minusing that. And we also have minus the square root of 5 times square root of 5, and that just turns into minus 5. We can simplify this a bit in the denominator. The denominator, the two square roots of 5 cancel each other, and the 1 minus 5 turns into negative 4. The numerator, there's really nothing we can simplify because these are all unlike radicals. We cannot combine them. What we can do, however, is take this minus sign from the denominator and apply it to the whole fraction and move it outside. So we get the negative of the square root of 3 plus square root of 15 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 10 all over 4. Now we're going to look at an example that involves exponents. We're going to simplify the expression negative 2x squared y cubed quantity squared over negative 4x squared y quantity cubed. What we can do here in the numerator is square each of the individual factors. Factors are things that are multiplied, not added, but multiplied. We can take negative 2 quantity squared times x squared quantity squared times y cubed quantity squared. In the denominator, we'll cube each of the factors. So we have negative 4 quantity cubed, x squared quantity cubed, times y quantity cubed. Now, negative 2 squared is positive 4. x squared quantity squared, we raise a power to a power. We multiply the exponents of 2 times 2 to get x to the fourth. And the same with y cubed squared, we multiply exponents 3 times 2 to get y to the sixth. In the denominator, negative 4 cubed makes negative 64. Because negative 4 times 4 is positive 16, times another negative 4 makes negative 64. x squared quantity cubed, we use the power to a power rule and multiply the exponents to get x to the sixth. And then we have just y cubed. Okay, now we have to simplify this. The, the 4 over negative 64 simplifies to 1 16th. The minus sign stays in there. We can move the minus sign outside. Now for the y terms, we can use the quotient rule. y to the 6th over y to the 3rd, we subtract exponents, and we end up with y to the 6 minus 3, or y cubed. For the x's, we can also use the quotient rule. x to the 4th over x to the sixth is x to the minus 2. And you can see I put up a note. x to the negative 2 is the same as 1 over x squared because that's the definition of a negative exponent. So really, x to the minus 2 becomes x squared in the denominator. 
So we end up with 16x squared in our denominator. So our final answer is negative y cubed over 16x squared. In this example, we're going to raise 8 27ths to the 2 thirds power. Now first you have to note that when you raise a fraction to a power, you can rewrite that fraction as the numerator to that power divided by the denominator to that power. So we can rewrite 8 27ths to the 2 thirds as 8 to the 2 thirds over 27 to the 2 thirds. Now the 2 thirds power means take the cube root of the number and then square it. And we're going to do just that. We're going to take the cube root of 8 and then square it in the numerator. We're going to take the cube root of 27 and then square it in the denominator. The cube root of 8 is 2, so we get 2 squared in the numerator. The cube root of 27 is 3, so we get 3 squared in the denominator. And this gives us 4 ninths.